at the top of our list was uh, the urgency of a world response uh, to the threat of climate change. Uh, and the Secretary General has been a consistent champion of a concerted, unified, uh, global response to the issue. Uh, I shared with him uh, the work that uh, we are doing in the United Nations uh, so that we can be a leader in addressing uh, this critical, perhaps the critical issue that faces uh, humankind going forward, uh, and explained how uh, through our power plant rule, through uh, the work we're doing on uh, renewable energies and so forth, that we're in a position now uh, to meet uh, the very uh, aggressive targets uh, that we're putting forward in preparation for the Paris Conference. We need Paris to be a success, uh, and uh, the world has to step up in a concerted way uh, on behalf of our children and future generations. On climate change, I highly uh, commend uh, President Obama's uh, strong commitment uh, since day one in his office uh, up to now. And I count on your continuing uh, leadership uh, until we'll be able to uh, address uh, this one, uh, this climate change, and have a climate change agreement in December in Paris. In that regard, uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate you and highly commend uh, your visionary and bold uh, leadership and announcement of yesterday on a clean power plan. Uh, this is a hugely important and visionary uh, leadership. Uh, U.S. can and will be able to change the world in addressing a climate phenomenon. And uh, we are the first generation, as President Obama rightly said uh, yesterday, uh, to put an end to global poverty. And we are the last generation uh, who can address a climate change uh, phenomenon.